to unlock the bootloader, you're going to follow the steps on this uh, H850 unlocking guide, even though it's for an RS-988. I'm going to put the link to this in the description under unlocking guide. Alright, and this is an RS-88, and it's currently running Android 6.01. First thing you want to do is go and update it. You do that by going to settings and then about phone at the bottom. Update center. Uh, software updates. And check update. And this is the one I already downloaded. It uh, ends in 21A. And install now. Alright, and we're updated. Alright, so before you unlock it, uh, you're going to want to back up your stuff. Make sure make sure you like back up your photos separately, but I'm going to try this LG backup app. I've never tried it. This is my girlfriend's phone, so she told me there's nothing on here she cares about losing, but uh, you know how that goes. So I'm going to do this and back up everything that I think she needs and I'll let that do its thing and theoretically this should back up all of her apps so she doesn't have to download them from the Play Store again alright and then you're going to go to the LG developer page the URL is right here so on this page you're going to scroll down and unlock bootloader Alright, and then on the bottom of that page, it'll be start unlocking, it'll say start unlocking the bootloader. And then you're going to want to make an account. And then agree to all this LG account crap. Agree. Make your account here. Alright, and on your phone, go to developer options. Enable those. And then don't want that. Turn on USB debugging. And enable OEM unlock. Ooh, and then I gotta remember my pin. Warning. Alright, enable. Excellent. Alright, uh, then you're going to want to go to the XDA forums and download Minimal ADB and Fastboot. I'm going to put the link to this as a uh, Fastboot link in the description. I don't want to copy their files or anything because I didn't make them. And you can get them from here. I'm going to install this Minimal ADB Fastboot. Alright, and it's going to open up this prompt after you install, and then you're going to want to plug your phone in. In this command prompt, to enter ADB Reboot Bootloader. On my phone, it's asking me if I want to allow USB debugging after I did that. Uh, I'm going to go Always Allow for my computer and click OK. You'll see that the computer wasn't very happy that first time, but I'm going to go ahead and reissue the command by hitting the up arrow and hitting enter. Alright. And it rebooted my phone for me. Wow, that's really small text. That is really small text. Let's zoom in there. I'm going to obtain my device ID now. By typing fast boot OEM device ID. Alright, that worked. I'm going to copy this by right clicking, hitting mark, selecting all of this, right clicking again to copy, like right click right on it, 
and that will copy it. And I'm going to open up Notepad. I'm going to paste it in here. And I'm going to take away everything but the letters. So it's going to end in C. And in between these two threes here. Alright. Alright, on LG's site, I select your device. LG RS988. And after you get that, you go in here. And you put in your... EMEI and your device ID and then click confirm it works maybe it doesn't you acknowledge that this may destroy your phone blah 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 the key has been sent to your email address alright and it's an actual attachment in your email. So click that, download it. Alright, once you've done that, you have the unlock file. Since it doesn't seem to have set an environmental variable for ADB, I'm going to go ahead and put it in an easy to reach location. So I put it, I copied it to uh, d slash unlock dot bin. So having done that, I'm now going to run the command Fast boot flash unlock d unlock dot bin. All right, and now I'm going to check and see if that worked by issuing the fastboot get var unlocked. Unlocked equals yes. Alright, this said it would wipe my phone, so let's see what happens. I'm just gonna do a fast boot reboot and see if it's wiped. Don't know what the hell that said. Uh, it looks like it is indeed wiping it. And um, just to clarify, I'm basically just following this guide on XDA. Uh, I'm not a genius. I just know how to read these directions. And I'm giving you guys like a video to see how it's supposed to go. You know, in case something goes wrong. Make sure you have a good USB cable. Though it's only like a one kilobyte file you're transferring in like a two megabyte bootloader. Uh, it's not like flashing an entire firmware, but um, if anything goes wrong when you try it, let me know, and I'll try my best to help. Alright, and after it reboots, you're going to want to go through setup again. Alright, go into settings, and about phone, and go back into software info, and click on the build number seven times. So you can go in to developer mode and turn on USB debugging again. Oh, it won't let me do it because it's still plugged in. There we go. Turn that on. Okay. Oh, come on. Plug that back in. And that's my computer again, so yes, allow it. Alright, now we're going to want to flash the actual TWRP, the recovery environment. And we're going to do that by rebooting into bootloader again. And then fast boot flash recovery. And the path to your recovery file. Flash. There we go. 
and hit enter. Alright, this step is super important to get into TWRP because if you mess up, you have to go in and reflash this thing again because it'll put its old recovery back on as a failsafe. Alright, it helps if you actually read the directions when making a YouTube video. So, I have to pull the battery out to kill the power by hitting the buttons on the side of it to pop it out. And there we go. And here's where the magic happens. Alright, so now I'm going to hold down the volume button, slide the battery back in, and then press the power button while still holding. Then let go of the power button and press it again. Alright, that worked. Um, then you go and hit yes by hitting the volume down key to select yes. Wait, shoot, which one is yes? Or which one is selected? I'm going to guess grayed out is selected, so I'm going to say yes. Ah, there we go. And... Do I want to delete everything? Sure. Oh, this makes sense. Because it thinks it's going to go into its factory recovery, but really it's going to go into ours. So I selected yes, and... Okay. Not hitting anything. Cool. So I'm just going to hit cancel. Okay, keep system read only. I'm going to swipe now to allow modifications. Alright. Oh shit. <laughs> Be sure to click in your battery. Fuck. Alright, let's see if I can get back in there. Alright, I'm back. <laughs> After having to do that again, because I did not click the battery in right. Um, now we're going to go to wipe. Just format data. And then type yes. Format your internal storage. This is so you can copy your Super Su over to its internal storage. And you do not hit reboot system, you hit back. And back. And back. Until, until you're on the home screen again here. Then down here on the bottom of here, you're going to hit reboot. And then recovery. You do not want to reboot normally. You want to reboot recovery. Alright, and then once again, you swipe to allow modifications. And then it recommends that you back up your boot image, so I'm going to do that. Back up. And I'm going to uncheck system. I'm just going to make sure boot is checked. And then I'm going to select storage. And then I'm going to put it on my micro SD. Okay. And swiped back up. Cool. Alright. Then back. And the back key. And then back to the home menu. There you are. And now, if you don't have an SD card, you can just use an SD card if you want. Um, but I'm going to do it in such a way that you don't have to have one. So plug in your phone to the USB. And it'll run through its little setup again. And you copy your SuperSue file into there. 
All right, once you copy that file over, you can unplug your USB. Uh, your screen might have turned off, but then just hit power button again. And then, uh, there you go, you're back on this. Now, you want to go into install. I'm going to hit select storage if it's not listed. And go into your internal storage if you don't have an SD card. Hit OK. And you'll see it's right there. Update, blah, 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 blah. Hit that. And then don't check these two things. And just swipe right down here to flash. And then you can click Reboot System if you want, but I'm going to follow the directions exactly. And go back, back, and Reboot System. All right, and it's finally booted. Ah, uh, there's Super Sue. All right. And I'm restoring from my backup right now. And now you can go install some apps that require root.